Welcome to Tech Week. Today we are doing a sort of mini episode. We're going to show you how to speed up your computer and clean up some disk space. So the first thing we're going to do is show you how to free up some uh, disk space. So for this we're going to go to the start menu, click all programs, and then um, go to accessories, and then go to system tools and then you're going to want to open up the disk cleanup so once you open up the disk cleanup it takes a little bit of time for it to um, calculate the files for it to show you so um, depending on how many files you have um, it could take you know less than a minute um, five minutes you know I have a good amount of files so it should take you know just under a minute we should see okay and then um, once it opens up um, it's gonna show you the stuff that it can clean and it has like downloadable program files temporary internet files um, now I normally clean mine uh, my res uh, recycling bin I'm gonna wanna click and you might wanna click yours you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't have any files in any of the folders that you click that you're gonna need because um, once you run this they're gone forever so um make sure that there's no files and um, click the ones that you need or just go with the ones that are already checked now I'm not gonna run it because I already ran it so I'm just gonna hit cancel and we're gonna move to the next step which is speed up access to data so now we're gonna go back to the start we're gonna hit all programs we're gonna go to accessories and then we're gonna go to system tools again and then we're gonna go to something called the disk defragmenter so we're going to open that up. Now that also takes a few seconds to run. Of course I have a the screen recorder and sound recorder running so it takes a little bit longer for me. Okay, it's up. Um, so you can click select volumes and uh, select certain volumes that you want, like uh, if you have more than one hard drive. And you can analyze it and it'll show you how long it should take to defragment. Or you can just hit defragment now and uh, run it and what that does is pretty much um, takes files from all these uh, from uh, that are associated to one thing and they're spread out all over the place and so it takes them and you know puts them next to each other so um, things open up easier and run easier so we're gonna close that and now we're gonna um, detect and repair any disk errors so we're gonna go back to the start menu we're gonna click on computer my computer and then you're going to have um, your hard drive, whatever hard drive you want to. Usually it's the C drive. So you're going to right click on that and then go to properties. And now you're going to see a tab that's called tools right next to the general. And you're going to click that. And there's going to be an error checking. So you're going to click check now. And what it will do is um, open up this window and you can just start it and it'll check. You know, it might take a little bit of time. Just be patient. Again, I'm not going to run it because I already did, but um, run it and it should uh, check for any errors and fix any errors that are on your um, hard drive. Now next I'm going to show you a free simple program that I use a lot and it comes in very handy. So let's open up Firefox. Um, so in your address bar type in um, ccleaner.com, that's a C C L E A ner.com and um, so it's a free program um, just hit download CCleaner and um, install it and then once you install it um, run the program let me bring mine up okay so once you run the program um, there's a tab called the cleaner and in this tab you're gonna have um, another tab called the windows and um, these are all your uh, folders or files that have you know uh, data in there that you don't normally use so again you might want to check through it make sure it's not stuff that you need usually it's not stuff you need so just hit um, analyze first to see how much and what you're deleting and then hit run the cleaner and then once you do that there's another tab called applications and again check through all the stuff hit analyze double check it and then hit run cleaner once you do all this click on the registry tab and then you have um, 
uh, you can scan for issues in your um, registry. So just scan for the issues and it's going to show any issues that are detected. And then you can hit fix all selected issues, which I recommend. I also recommend it's going to ask you if you want to back up your current registry and you're going to want to say yes just in case anything goes wrong. Nothing ever goes wrong, but you know, in the off chance that something does go wrong, your computer decides to lock up in the middle of it and you know, you can recover your old registry. So just hit save. And then um that's it for CCleaner. And then another thing you're going to want to do is probably if you don't have virus protection is scan your computer for viruses. Now virus programs cost money but a uh, sim simple solution is to install a trial, a fully functional trial. So what I do is uh, I get NOD32 and you're going to want to go to ESET.com. NOD32 is a very good um, virus protection system and they offer a free 30 day trial. So um, download and install the trial and it works perfectly fine. It's like the full version but it's just 30 days it's limited and I have it here um, opened up and you click on computer scan and you can either hit standard scan which will scan your whole computer or you can hit custom scan and you can select certain folders for you to scan. Now of course virus scans take a little bit of time but um, this is a great program it scan, uh, scans everything always has caught any virus that I've ever gotten as far as I know so I highly recommend that um, you do this you don't have to pay anything it's free um, once the trial runs out just delete the program you know um so that's it if you like this video um subscribe if you have any questions or any comments just post them in the comment box of course i'm going to post any links in um on the side in the info and also don't forget to rate all right thanks for watching